It's Wednesday morning. I'm virtually in front of the United Nations headquarters in Vienna. United Nations headquarters, New York, is the main headquarters. And yet there are four other headquarters buildings because literally speaking, the United Nations is all of the 192 member states, all of the countries that have signed up to the Charter of the United Nations are members of the United Nations. United Nations staff work all over the world. Some are peacekeepers. Some are on a mission to a particular country for a particular purpose, for a particular program, pardon me. <clears throat> My name's Lily, and I'm a mentor for people who want to work at the United Nations, for people who are passionate about working at the United Nations, who want to find their dream job at the United Nations. Dream job, United Nations? This might be you. Or you might be thinking, United Nations, dream job, no way. Fine. I'm interested in reaching out to people who are passionate about helping and doing good to help the United Nations fulfill its charter, its role, its mandate, its vision. How can you do that? Only when you too are in sync with that vision. It's true, there are a lot of people working all around the world in the United Nations. Some of them got in there because their friends were in there and roped them in. Some of them got in there because their parents were diplomats and they ended up in a foreign country, speaking a foreign language, going to an international school. Here in Vienna, perhaps attending the Diplomatic Academy, studying international relations. And then thought, yep, yeah, Ewan, sounds like a good fit. Oh try my luck and get a job at the United Nations. And United Nations is always looking for people to be able to fulfill its mandate. Why? Because we are still working on our world peace. It's still a work in progress. We are not there yet. The United Nations is not quite ready to be disbanded because we need it. Some people will say we don't need it because it doesn't work. Do you have something better? I can think of a particular project, a civil society organisation, which is setting itself up as an alternative as a spiritual United Nations, and perhaps that's where you're coming from, or perhaps that's where you want to go, go for it. The only way that the United Nations can really work is when all of these parts actually fit together. I've been involved in a paid position at the UN for 10 years and as a civil society representative for even more years than that. And I've learned a lot about the relationships of this big international organization and what we call the United Nations you know, I was actually working for the International Atomic 
Energy Agency, where it was sometimes said, we are not the UN. However, it is classified as part of the UN family. And in my books, we are all one human family. So I'm passionate about getting those resources, those passionate people who really want to do something, who want to do something good, who want to do something on a high level, who have the confidence and the audacity to get up there and make a difference. So in my mentoring program, we go through quite a few things, depending also on where you're at right now and where you really want to go. And I will support you through the process after an initial meeting, if we're a good fit as a mentor for passionate world changers who want to make a difference by working at the United Nations. I've recognized a lot about myself, about what I can do, what I want to do, and also about my colleagues. And it takes all types. There are lots of people. You can get a job at the UN without me. There are lots of people at the UN also that I had nothing to do with. However, my passion is to make a difference through my values, interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. I believe that we need to live and implement those values in our relationships with one another, in our lives, and in the negotiations between all the different levels, between all the different organizations. I have a Facebook group. We're here live on Facebook right now. This video will go into my Facebook group called Dream Job UN. There have been a number of presentations and workshops relating to this theme. If you feel called, if you're interested to, what's the word in English, schnuppen, to make it, to have a trial run. Schnuppen is, you know, what a dog does when it goes sniffing around to, to feel its way, to figure out whether it's the right thing to do in German, you can have a, a schnupper course in a dancing class. You can attend the first class for free to get a feel for it, right? This getting a feel for it like a dog sniffing around. Is this really for me? Do I like it or not? So if you know, please let me know. Tell me what is the English word? Is there an English word for this terminology in German, which we call schnuppen? So I'm offering a schnupper. <laughs> I'm offering you a schnupper. Join my Facebook group. And if you feel called, and if you're passionate about working at the United Nations, follow the links, sign yourself up, get yourself an appointment, and we can have a discussion and see whether this is something for you. This is my Wednesday morning live. I'm going to start numbering them. Trouble is, I don't know when to start. I've managed, I told you before, if you've followed me before, I'm a data assistant and I'm passionate, passionate about organizing information. So a lot of the stuff that I've posted here on Facebook, I haven't even got records of. So I've started trying to get it all on record so that I can also create the links on my website. 
and I know I've been talking about it for a long, long time, but I'm getting around to it. So I'd like to encourage you to do that one thing today that you've been talking about doing for a long, long time. We're all in the same boat. We're all human. It hits us all at various times. I watched another video this morning, which is probably very inspiring and encouraging, yet some of the things which this lady talked about do not reflect my current situation. I'm not pessimistic and doubtful. I know I have a mission and I'm go, go, go to reach out and do that. So however you're feeling today, have a look at my Dream Job UN Facebook group and we can continue from there. So I wish you a lovely day. Do something for world peace today. What can you do for world peace today? Think about it. Write about it. Do something about it. Even if it's just a one-on-one -on -one communication between you and somebody who has become a little bit distant from you. Every little step counts. You know the saying, take care of the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves. I believe world peace starts in the family, in the family relationships, in the way we learn to relate as brothers and sisters. Do we learn to share? Do we learn to take everything for ourselves? Do we learn that we have to give and take care of our younger brothers and sisters? Are we the only child? Do we get everything we want? And do we scream to get what we want when we don't get what we want? I mentioned before the United Nations family of nations. The United Nations to me represents our world family. So my vision, my dream for the United Nations is true parents United Nations. It's where we with a parental heart, can take care of one another, each one recognizing what gifts and qualities they have that they can give to serve others and willingly give. And those in need graciously receive and in turn give to those from what they can give to those around them who are in need of what they can offer. And if you think you are too poor to give anything, you're right. <laughs> you are right because in your mind, it's your thoughts that will dominate your life. And if you think you're too good to give anything to anyone else, you're right. Nobody will be interested in anything from you. I did the Bob Proctor course last year, thinking into results. And I put the book back on my bookshelf from Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. And your thoughts are an important asset of yours. So as, now I used to use this quote and say Confucius, and I don't know even if Confucius and Lao Tzu are the same person. I'm sure there was more than two Chinese great philosophers, however, I find it very, very difficult to remember Chinese names, to even read or pronounce them. But I think it was Lao Tzu. 
who talked about peace in the in the individual in order to get to peace in the family and that we need to build peace in the family in order to build peace in the society and when we have peace in the society then we can have peace in the nation and when we have peace in the nation then we can have peace in the world and so just as my role model is the family when we have peace within ourselves and can love those around us, our family members, as we love ourselves, as it says in the Bible and in other scriptures. When we can love our neighbour as ourselves, when we can build a family of true love, and our family can also be a source of love to our neighbours, to our neighbourhood. And when we live in a neighbourhood of true love and have a functioning gardening society, a beautification program for the village square, as exists in many places here in Austria. I've spoken about it before. Then you can raise the standard, the level of the community. And when communities interact with one another, when you have cities of peace, sister cities across continents, and exchange between a city outside Canberra, Queanbeyan, and a city in China and connect and exchange and share with each other, then you can contribute to building world peace. We can all contribute to building world peace. If you think you're too poor, to do anything, to give anything, you're right. If you think that you're lucky to be alive, you're right. If you think you can give this message better than I can, it's true. So get off your butt and get up and do something because Passively surfing the internet or Facebook or YouTube might be a source of inspiration for you. It can also become a great waste of time. Uh, I'm thinking in German again. I've been living here over 30 years. So my mother tongue, I say, is English because I grew up in Australia. But my mother, her mother spoke Czech, but she went to German schools. And they usually say that the language that you count in is the language closest to your heart. And I know my mother used to count in German. So when I say mother tongue, my mother tongue is English. Yes, I grew up speaking English, but I've already lived here in this German speaking country longer than I lived in Australia. However, as I've already told you, I worked at the UN for 10 years. In my 30, 40 years of family life, we always spoke English. Even though when I first met my husband and then separated, he wrote to me in German and I wrote to him in English. However, having had the 
multicultural experience of growing up in Australia with parents who spoke Czech together and a mother who had German in school, I recognise the value of the multiculturalism. Our whole neighbourhood was from all over Europe. And I regretted when I grew up that I am not fluent in Czech or German because when I went to kinder, I went to kindergarten and learned English. And then when I started primary school, our teachers told us to go home and tell your parents that they must speak English at home because your mothers, because the 60 kids in the class all had mothers who did not speak English. Yes, there were 60 kids in my primary school class and not one of them had English speaking parents. They were all, we were all kids, first generation Australian. So yes, I say I'm Australian. Do I have to qualify that first generation Australian? People born in Australia automatically receive the Australian citizenship not here in Austria and some other countries. In America, anybody born in America automatically becomes an American citizen, the United States of America, of course, North America. Anyhow, I regretted that my Czech was no longer, was not as good as some of my other Czech friends whose parents had insisted that they continue speaking Czech at home. So before we even started family life, I made a deal with my husband and I told him, you are going to speak German and I am going to speak English and our kids are going to learn German and English good German and good English. Now, my German is okay after all this time here. However, I'm very grateful my kids did not grow up with feelings of inferiority for speaking a different language at home because it was English, oh, English. And I did not grow up with the feeling of being a foreigner here in Austria. Oh no, you're one of the good ones, English speaking. How easily we judge one another, criticize, categorize the goodies, the baddies, the better, the worse. United Nations is beyond all that. And that's what I loved about working at the VIC, the Vienna International Center. There were people there working with me who I knew as soon as they got onto the underground that people would get up and not want to sit beside them. That people thought that they were the drug dealers on the streets. And they were the scientists and professionals who had come here to save their countries and to save the world. And I loved working with those people. And I loved learning about all the different cultures, religions, background, languages, traditions. And I believe True Parents United Nations would be just such a great way to connect, to help, to serve the world, to show when we all have a parental heart of loving, giving, serving, teaching, training, being a good example, then we can make a difference. I'm here to make a difference. Have I made a difference for you? Drop me a line. Oh, I'm learning. My Friday group is learning by doing and I focus on the things that I can pick up and learn and take take with me and one thing I'm 
getting to achieve is the call to action. Give me some feedback, drop me a line, tell me what you think. And even if Dream Job UN is not your focal point, drop me a line anyhow, because United Nations is everywhere, everything. And I know we can all make a difference when we find the channels where we can connect and where our resources, our gifts can be graciously received. This I give to you. Enjoy. Have a lovely day. <laughs>